King Kong, from Postman Always Rings Twice, from Tootsie, from Francis, to Country. Would you believe Jessica Lang is our guest this morning? Welcome to Nebraska. Jessica, I'm so glad you've made a movie about the American farmer in particular. You know, our Nebraska viewers yeah. out there, so many of them are farmers. This will be a very important film for them. Yeah. Well, why did you choose to shoot it in Iowa? And you're from Minnesota. Yes. As opposed to, I mean, why not, why not do it in Minnesota? Well, what happened was when we first started uh, doing the research on the project, we got in touch with a farm organization, a group of uh, people in Des Moines, Iowa, mm -hmm. a group called Rural America, which was um, an organization, a nonprofit organization that was formed to uh, help farmers who were going through this particular crisis. And uh, it just kind of, we ended up there because they were our contact and they put us in touch with uh, a lot of the farmers. And the location, the look of the place was, per was really perfect for what we needed. Well, why do you care so much about the American farmer? I guess I mean, it probably goes back to childhood. It goes back to, uh, you know, the first things that I knew, what I understood about the land and what I understood about families and uh, the connection of people to the land and what it means when that land is taken away from them. I grew up in Minnesota, and I, I, I lived always in rural communities, farm communities, and I just have tremendous respect for these people, and I wanted to do something that, at, uh, so, uh, that honored them and at the same time uh, could make more public somehow the situation that they're in now. That seems to be a very... Um, I d I, I mean, it, it, it amazes me, and it amazed me uh, tremendously when I first became involved in this project and we did our research in Iowa, that people really are not aware of what's happening to the independent family farmer. And I just hope that somehow this film could bring attention to them. The curious thing about it is the role that she plays of Ivy is the stronger in the family. That, uh, that the husband, first Sam Shepard, who's playing her husband, he looks so perfect. He looks like every, the Nebraska farmer, as, as I see a farmer, yeah. with a lean, weathered face and that look. But the woman came out, Ivy, as the stronger. Did you have anything to do with that, to say the woman should keep the family together? Well, no, but I'll tell you, uh, truthfully, when we were doing our research and we were talking to these families, that in the majority of cases, it was the woman who struck out first. And I'm not exactly sure why, it, you know, it could be the, the, the nature of men, the nature of women, I'm not exactly sure. But we found that uh, within these families, that the man really turned in on himself in most of the cases, where the woman recognized it as an external force threatening her almost, uh, it was like a primitive, like an animal reaction to something coming into her territory. And uh, so, so that was not so much a, a decision as an actor wanting to play that kind of role as uh, what we felt was truthful to the situation. Mrs. Ivy, you must realize that a government foreclosure is a legal act. This little show you people put on here this morning isn't going to stop a wheel from turning. All I have to do is get a court order to have your machinery transported to another county for a legitimate auction. And that's exactly what we're going to do, Mrs. Ivy. There's no way to stop it. Mister, you can take our equipment. Tomorrow you can come out here and you can haul off all our stock. But when you come out to pull us off this land, you better come with more than a piece of paper. Because we're staying. We're staying right here. Well, you co-produced the film. Yeah. And uh, Sam Shepard said that you should, you should direct it because you've got such a good eye. He said that? Yes, that's what he said. Where did he say that? He said that in American Film oh. Magazine. So you don't know the things no, he's saying about you. I don't. You know something? She's from Cloquet, Minnesota. That's true. Now, I'm from Duluth. Are you really? Okay, so you know what happened? Cloquet, Minnesota has a paper mill. And when the odor of the sulfur wafts over the hills down to Duluth, we would go well, like, down I said, of it. oh it's my rough. God, it's cloquet again, <laughs> the smell of cloquet. Did you smell that? 
Did you smell it as badly, or was the wind wafting it down to Duluth? Well, it depends. If the, lake came, if the wind <laughs> came off the lake, then we were in trouble. But if the wind was coming from the south, we were pretty good. Oh, uh, is it a long, hard road to hoe from Cloquet, Minnesota to Hollywood? Well, not, yeah, I mean, yeah. it certainly <laughs> is a long road, that's for sure. But uh, and I, I, I admit to having tremendous luck in my life. So I'm real grateful for that. Well, there's more to it than luck, Jessica. I mean, you know, that being in the right place at the right time, certainly. Mm -hmm. But the sensitivity that you have shown in the films has certainly worked, has certainly worked. But did you ever think, sitting in Cloquet, Minnesota, as a young girl, hey, I'm, I'm going to be a movie star? No, no. I never, no, the, the idea to act came very late in my life. When I was sitting on my front porch in Minnesota, I was having dreams of being a painter in New York City or living in Paris. But you did do some of that. I did that anyhow, but it never, it didn't, it wasn't the end of the line. Well, why so. did you leave Cloquet? Did you say, I'm just, I have to get out of here? Basically, yeah. Uh, it, it's odd because at the time, I was filled with such tremendous yearning for something, you know, for a, for kind of exploring, for moving out, for learning things. And uh, I found that after, you know, being away from that part of the country, that the strongest ties in my life were still to that place. You come home periodically? I go home all the time. I have a, well, I, I own land just south of Duluth. And that's where, I mean, that's where I live most of the time. Do you have some privacy there? Do people know where you live? I mean. No, you know, the, I mean, the, that community up there, I mean, they leave you alone. They know you're there. Um, and they absolutely uh, respect your privacy. And they're such private people. I mean, that's what I love about that part of the country. And that was also something that we wanted to get across in the film, that that type of person from the Midwest is very private. You know, I mean, it, and uh, I, I mean, I... I know that in my own nature, and I know that's where it's from. You don't have the Minnesota accent anymore. No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it seems like all the good roles, the good roles for females are going to you, to Glenn Close, to um, Meryl Streep, Sally Field. You really have a corner on the market at this point, it seems like. Hmm. You think so? Well... Um, I suppose, you know, since we're all of that age, you know, the, the, I mean, every decade or whatever, there is a group of actresses, and um, I mean, I, I'm certainly privileged to be in the company of those, those women, but, uh, you know, I mean, you have your good years, you've got your bad years. Well, you're, you're on a roll <laughs> right now. I suppose it makes it difficult to really select you know, because there's so much, they must be inundated with scripts and things like that to finally yeah, see. Yeah, but it's amazing how you know immediately when something is right and when it's not right. I mean, mm -hmm. I can read, uh, you know, dozens of scripts, and uh, it's, it's almost an instinctive thing when you read the right script, something clicks, mm -hmm. and that, you know, that's how you make a decision. Well, Jessica, the next time you do a film, you don't have to go to Waterloo, Iowa. You can do it in Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> we you. had one film shot in Lincoln. You know what that film was? Terms, Terms of Endearment. Endearment. Good girl. <laughs> so we did pretty well on that. So you might give us a thought. I love Lincoln. I think it's a beautiful little town. She actually has come to visit us. It's I actually walked around your city late one night. Well, it was a pleasure to have you. The film is outstanding. You should be very proud. Thank you. So from everybody in Cloquet, Minnesota, <laughs> Congratulations, you. and Lincoln, Nebraska, and our whole state, thank you for making a film about our people, about the farmers. Thank you. Jessica Lang has been our guest. The film is Country. Please stay tuned. There's more to come as 10-11 Morning continues.